A juice every diabetic should consider every morning for normal blood sugar and flat stomach. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergen here. I want to share a drink that you are going to have on an empty stomach first thing in the morning and this is going to do miracles to control your diabetes and flatten your stomach. You may not realize how powerful this drink is but I challenge you to put this to test for like 10 days. We are talking about a detox drink made with apple cider vinegar, lemon juice and water. So simple. I know, right? Well, don't worry. I'll let you know exactly how to make it. But first, you want to just drink some warm water, maybe coffee or tea first thing in the morning. This actually helps stimulate the digestion first thing in the morning and to get your bowels moving. It actually wakes up the nervous system to prepare for proper digestion, right? Well, in this drink, we will use apple cider vinegar that increases the acidity of your stomach to allow the enzymes to work more efficiently to help break down the food. It will lower the blood sugar levels, will decrease insulin levels, and it will improve and speed up your metabolism. It will help burn fat and will suppress your appetite as well. What is really amazing about this is when you drink this first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, this will really kickstart your metabolism. And the best part? Well, the lemon juice contains enzymes along with the vitamin C to help purify your body and bolster your immune system. Lemon can actually help cleanse the blood as well as the gastrointestinal system. It acts as a natural diuretic and a gentle laxative so if you are retaining fluid that bloating going to be excreted from the body it will also help with the production of stomach acid and digestive enzymes which will actually help alleviate the gas pain quickly as well well let's go over the recipe now okay We'll talk more detail about why this mix is so important and how it works for your body right after the recipe. But let's give the recipe first. I'll say start by placing the mint leaves in a pitcher and crushing them with a wooden spoon. Once they release their fresh aroma, mm, add some apple cider vinegar and lemon juice and some water and some sweetener maybe. Now, stir the mix until that sweetener that you prefer dissolves. I prefer stevia. And then add lemongrass and then make it well mixed and you can serve it warm or iced, however you like it. Uh, you can, of course, drink it alongside a healthy dish for the breakfast, for a really nice meal for your morning. It will be a nice drink for your morning as well. It is low calories. It's really nice, much better than apple juice or, or orange juice, right? Uh, it, it's convenient to make. Uh, and most importantly, it, is, it has fat burning properties, makes it excellent for weight loss diets. Uh, if you cannot stand the taste, well, sometimes you got to consider the sugar MD apple cider vinegar gummies. It definitely has much more pleasant taste. Now, let's get to the details, right? Remember, the devil is in the details. Sometimes... I just jump on something like installing a piece of furniture myself and then thinking like, ah, oh, it must be easy. What do we know? What is it? Just a couple pieces together and then big epic fail. And then I just have to read you all over again after learning my lesson that I had to go through the instructions carefully. So don't be like that. Just like apple cider vinegar, by the way, and lemon juice, they provide vitamin C, right? Antioxidants. Plus, when you limit the added sugar, uh, so hopefully no sugar at all, it makes us drink a nutritious beverage. Uh, you can frequently sip on throughout the day if you want to. Well, take care not to drink straight apple cider vinegar though. Consuming vinegar possesses a great risk actually of eroding your teeth enamel if you are consuming like in a very highly concentrated form. So I would recommend definitely dilute it a lot. So try not to make it a, a very strong drink. Also remember, Ceylon cinnamon and pepper are just some of the popular flavors that pair pretty well with apple cider vinegar drink if you want to, you know, smoothen out the taste a little bit. 
Let's talk uh, more about the benefits of apple cider vinegar and the lemon juice. Well, apple cider vinegar has long been used uh, as a household disinfectant and a food preservative, right? But is there any science-backed evidence to support that there are any benefits at all? Well, the better question is, what exactly is apple cider vinegar? Well, it is actually a vinegar made by fermenting sugar from crushed apples to alcohol. The alcohol further converts to acetic acid, which composes 5-6% to of the vinegar. Well, the good thing is it works as an anti-diabetic. Acetic acid actually shows antioxidant and anti-cholesterol features as well. So it's no surprise that consuming apple cider vinegar over eight weeks actually reduced cholesterol in patients with high cholesterol levels. You know, some people call it hyperlipidemia, if you want to call it, be fancy, right? But it's really hyperlipidemia is when you have high levels of triglycerides or a high level of LDL in your blood, then we call this hyperlipidemia or high cholesterol. It is really inexpensive to do that, to, call, to treat your cholesterol, especially if you don't want to take statins and so forth. So it also helps with the weight loss as we touch base a little bit. Apple cider vinegar actually helps with the weight loss. Not on everybody, not a tremendous weight loss, but it helps. Uh, it improves the metabolism. Uh, it improves the burn, fat burning process. It suppresses the appetite in some people. Of course, you're not going to lose weight overnight with apple cider vinegar, but you still need to practice the intermittent fasting. You know, you got to reduce your carb intake, you know, perform daily exercise and all that stuff, right? The more intense and more frequently you do these things, in addition to your apple cider vinegar, you will get better results with apple cider vinegar as well. Now, what happens when you add lemon uh, or the lemon juice in your apple cider vinegar? So what's the point, right? Well, yes you are doubling the vitamin C. The other main ingredient in our drink, which is the lemon juice, is very well known for vitamin C. Everybody knows that. Antioxidant properties is well known. It is a proven force against factors uh, such as viruses and other, other infections. Consuming vitamin C, again, helps fight aging as well, improves your immune system, contributes to building collagen on your skin, which goes bad as we get older, as you know. Uh, besides drinking it uh, in the juice, you can actually have uh, lemon water if you don't like uh, apple cider itself uh, or mix with anything, but even lemon water will be very good. So my wife, for example, started making this pitcher water with some, you know, lemon and cucumber and all that stuff, and it's so refreshing. I love it. It makes me want to drink water all the time. Uh, you can feel free to add stevia or monk fruit if you like the sweet taste, if you have a sweet tooth. So... But the question is how often you really want to drink that, right? Well, I would say drink it daily. If you make it a habit, that will be the best case scenario. For example, in 2016, there was a study that showed a daily consumption of 15 milliliter of vinegar was enough to positively affect high blood pressure and high cholesterol and obesity in a positive way. Some people may feel the need to drink an excessive amount of apple cider vinegar uh, to improve overall uh, health being, but again, be careful with your teeth and all that stuff that we talked about. Uh, did you know that the drinking actually large amounts of apple cider vinegar can actually cause osteoporosis? Yikes, that's not good. Well, uh, there's no harm in incorporating straight apple vinegar in your daily dishes like salads if you don't like to drink the apple cider vinegar in a drink, but the problem may arise if you drink it straight without diluting it. So, I would say, again, limit the apple cider vinegar, the concentration of it. It is better to drink it daily, uh, small amounts. It's better than doing it twice a week, for example. This is the most effective way, actually, to reap the benefits without risking the enamel erosion, because if you're doing it twice a week, you need to have a high concentration, and that can cause problems. Now, can you substitute lime juice with lemon juice? Yeah, of course. Why not, right? They're both, you know, they're both similar taste. They both have vitamin D. I have no problem with substituting those at all. Nutritionally, uh, they contain very similar amount of vitamin C as well. They contain magnesium, calcium, if you didn't know about that as well. The taste-wise, some people find the lime juice a little more tart. Uh, I personally like it, but uh, you know, lime can give a little more zest to it.
All right. Apple cider vinegar and uh, lemon juice recipe is over. Kind of gave a long recipe here. We talked about the benefits today for you. I hope that you guys will enjoy this uh, and put in your daily routine. But uh, to make it more palatable, some people actually, you know, use lemongrass. As some people, if it is not affecting your blood sugar, maybe a drop of honey or mint. That all helps. So, well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you cannot stomach this drink, think about sugar MD apple cider vinegar gummies as well. But uh, thank you again for checking this video. And I will really appreciate it if you could share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up if you don't mind to show your support for the channel and for everyone contributing for these videos to happen. So let me know in the comments below if this video helped you in any way. And I welcome viewer feedback all the time and I'm happy to address any concerns that you may have.